Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a afternoon episode of Ted's Booze Cellar with me your most gracious host Ted here on Saturday the 3rd of April 2021 at about f just before five minutes past two. I hope I'm finding you all in a good state of affairs and if I'm not then I hope things get better for you very very soon. Now you guys may have seen the episode from yesterday where I reviewed uh, Moth uh, Negroni which was a dreadful um gin based cocktail now my experience with um pre-mixed cocktail cans on this show i mean it's been mixed to be honest um some have been good like um oh there was there was like a, there's been a couple of gin tonic ones i've tried down the uh, last couple of years that have been quite good but um the moth negroni one from last night that was the worst that was just awful but um I'm hoping the the one I've got from uh, Moth today is going to be a little bit better because I saw that that same line of cocktail drink cans also did an espresso martini. Now this is simply put Moth espresso martini, which is a vodka cold brew coffee liqueur. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, no, I, I like the look of this. Um, again, it's going to give it a 10 out of 10 again for the can. It's simple, clean, line-designed, contrasting colours that stick out nicely against each other. 14.9% uh, alcohol volume again. Um, and it says on the back here that count the, count on this to open your eyes. Smooth, bitter, balanced, like a glass, icy enough to write your name on. Goes with anything sweet, like a lover. Perfect with your favourite playlist. I'm a bit more encouraged by this because immediately the back... Um, the back label writing on this is a lot less pretentious than the one from yesterday. But this, I just get the impression like they're saying like, hey, just drink it while you're listening to some music on a lazy Sunday afternoon with your lover or, you know, something like that. It's lazy, nice, warm colours. Yeah, I like the sound of that. So, and I mean, to be fair, I generally pretty like sort of um, uh, espresso martinis, generally speaking. I've been to quite a few bars and tried quite a few of them. <sighs> so let's give this a sniff and see what our first impressions are like. Very strong co uh, vodka-ish flavour. I mean, that kind of comes with part of the course, really. And there is that sort of bit of coffee bitterness a little bit. I mean, yeah, honestly, it smells like exactly what I'd expect it to smell like, really. But a little bit sugary, tiny bit of a vanilla tint, a uh, bitter undertone, and a strong vodka smell. So, yeah, smells about right. I'll give that a... I'll give that an 8 out of 10 because it's not the most fully bodied smell I was expecting it to be. And I can imagine some of the, the strong vodka smell could put some people off. So maybe they need to balance it out a little bit more with a bit more of that coffee-ish or vanilla-y sort of smell. But um, no, it smells good. So have ourselves a quick palate cleanser of water. And then on to the most important part of the video, which is to taste this beautiful little number hopefully it's better than yesterday but then again that probably won't be hard to do so bottoms up oh oh wow that's actually pretty good that's really good wow Genuinely. Wow, I'm so shocked. Because the, the one... The, the, the Negroni um, gin cocktail from yesterday was so horrible. This is actually pretty good. I'm getting a body of, like, coffee liqueur. Like an undertone of um, vodka and coffee. And like this sort of sweet, sugary, vanilla-y aftertaste. Yeah. It's, it's all what I like. Smooth texture as well. The texture is sort of slightly creamy, but smooth at the same time throughout. So the texture is very consistent and it complements the coffee-ish flavour really well. Um, kind of warms up the cockles of your hearts a little bit. Um, yeah, all of the flavours in here really complement each other really well. They're all the flavours I'd expect to be in a coffee uh, martini. You know, you've got that slightly espresso taste at the end, coffee liqueur through line, vodka undertones, and sort of like the sugary vanilla-y sort of aftertaste as well. All perfect. Actually, at, genuinely, um, I think the only... I, what, would I criticise anything about this? I 
I'd say it could have a slightly fuller body of flavour. Um, I would say the coffee flavour could be a bit stronger. And they probably it probably do them well to add in a bit of a cocoa-y sort of undertone to sort of counterbalance everything. But generally speaking, this is pretty good. Yeah. I mean, out of all the pre-mixed cocktail drink scans I've ever tried on this show, this is definitely one of the better ones. Um, I mean, those sm few criticisms I mentioned aren't game-breaking. This is still a lovely drink. Um, so I'd say... I'd say this is a 9 out of 10. Just purely because, like, I've had... I have had... I would be really tempted to say this is 10, but, like, this isn't as good as some other um, espresso martinis I've tried in, like, uh, proper, like, bars and cocktail pubs. And so... But I think, like, a 9 out of 10 is damn good. I mean, in comparison to the one from yesterday, that is incredible. But, yeah, no, honestly, 9 out of 10, absolutely excellent. Probably the best pre-mixed cocktail can I've ever tried. And, yeah, thoroughly recommended. So, yeah. Give this a buy. But uh, yeah, if you guys like this video, leave a like, share, and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for future episodes, leave them in the comment section down below. And if you want to check out anything else I do online, I'll leave the links to that in the video description down below. But until next time, have fun, stay safe for whatever you're doing, don't do anything I wouldn't do, wash your hands, drink responsibly, know your limits, and I'll see you guys at the bar next time on Ted's Booze Cellar. Bye-bye for now.